I am mastering the art of pizza making out here in Manawatchin. I've got to tell you, this is the first time that I've actually been in the village of Manawatchin. Hi, how are you? I'm great. It's a beautiful village. <laughs> it's really nice. Allow me to introduce Philippa Martins, co-owner here at Pizza Farm with her partner, Adam. You've got a beautiful farm. Well, thank you. This is actually our partner's farm. Mm -hmm. So we are co-owners of our cows with okay. another couple and uh, we do a lot of farm sharing and land sharing here in the village. Mm -hmm. and, and that's not it. You do a lot of pizza making we sure do. on the farm as well, yes. right? Okay, so uh, walk me through the pizza that I've made here. Okay, so you're holding an Italian pizza mm -hmm. and this is made with Italian sausage that comes from the pork from our farm. And it also has the onions from our farm and the green peppers. Sometimes when they're in season come from our farm and sometimes we'll buy them from fellow farmers mm -hmm. locally. And I'm holding the barbecue chicken pizza. And this also has the onions from our farm. It has our own chicken and has um, some lovely sweet and zesty barbecue sauce. Okay, so now that they're ready to go into the oven, how do we go about putting them in? Well, now this is uh, this is when Adam usually takes over this step, but I can do this for him. <laughs> okay, let's so see. We will do them uh, one at a time. So if you would like to put yours there, but don't touch the paddle. The paddle will be very hot. Okay, so slide it off. No, nope, just the whole pan. Oh, whole pan. Yeah, the whole pan. Okay. okay. So we'll slowly put them in there. All right. And then the technique is to get it off without pulling it back. See? And we put the second one in. Adam, she's doing just fine without you. <laughs> His role is being taken over. And so they sit there. And when we have our oven going just right, mm -hmm. it will be between 800 to 900 degrees. And they should cook in about 90 seconds. Oh, OK. So we need to be, be quick. So we need to be quick. We're going to be able to eat it before we're even done talking. But Adam still has to come back. So what he's going to do is he's going to flip them off the pans oh. and get them to bake right on the hot brick. And that's where the flavor comes in. That's exactly what I was just about to ask you, why you would want to cook your pizzas on the wood-burning oven. It's because of the flavor. It's because of the flavor. It gets that real Italian flavor. Okay. Um, before we, we call Adam in to help us with, uh, with the pizzas, walk me through kind of some of the areas in the farm. What are we looking at here? The remnants of your garden, right? Okay, this is the remnants of our garden. Uh, closest to us is, uh, is Ken and Joanne's garden, which they are the owners of this particular um, plot of land that we also farm. and mm -hmm. we farm here with them. We farm beyond the area that you see that's been fenced. Mm -hmm. We've opened up that area to the cow so they get to eat the remnants of the gardens that we've uh, we've harvested so they get the leftovers. And uh, and then on the other side we've got pasture and our cows are right. out grazing mm -hmm. and doing what they love to do on a beautiful day like this. I loved the sign on the driveway, drive slowly, calves on laneway. <laughs> I've heard of, you know, children crossing sign, but cows crossing. The cows cross and they run and actually we have a loose cow right now who may or may not visit us. But she was around just before you drove up mm -hmm. with her baby and uh, and they've been very, they've been very loud this mm -hmm. morning, but now they're calm and they're happy eating. Mm -hmm. And this is our beef. So we've chosen to do a heritage breed cow. It's called a, a Dexter cow. It's an old Irish breed. They're mm -hmm. very hardy. They do really well up here in the Highlands. And, um, <laughs> and our pizzas are cooking beautifully okay. and, uh, and, and they're great for our climate. Okay. Yeah. Well, a reminder that a Pizza Farm is just one of over 100 vendors that will be uh, around this weekend at the Taste of the Valley in Cobden. If you haven't had the chance to check out one of the Taste of the Valleys, sometimes they're in Renfrew, sometimes mm -hmm. they're in Pembroke, but this one in Cobden is going to have a lovely Pizza Farm, folks. So well worth the trip. A little bit later on the show, I'm going to make some pizza with you, right? Absolutely. Okay, so stay with us. That's all to come later on CTV Morning Live.